Just one day after music and prayer filled the West Point United Methodist Church for Sunday services, the phone call started. And I couldn't believe it, because he was sitting in that seat right there the day before. Just, and it just a, a punch in the gut. Gordon Ritchie, a member of the church and a 78-year-old Vietnam veteran had been shot and killed Sunday night. His wife, and she'd been held at gunpoint, told friends there had been a home invasion at their farmhouse on a remote stretch of Dixie Highway. A shocking crime, according to Marilyn Helvey, the pastor's wife. But for some reason, Sunday, I thought, he's over there sitting by himself. I'm going to sit next to him and see if he really sings as well as I think. And he did, you know. So that was the last time I saw him. For decades, Gordon Ritchie had been a fixture at the church, according to friends like Tony Baker. They used to give little pins for every year you attended and didn't miss a Sunday school, they'd give you a little pin. Gordon had 20 of them. Now, in addition to his dedication to that church, Gordon Ritchie is also remembered for what he did right over here. Ritchie, a fifth generation farmer, every August would come here lending his voice to Freddie Farm Bureau. A spokesperson called Ritchie's passing tragic, but said the group was, quote, grateful for his willingness to bring joy to others by greeting fairgoers as Freddie with humor and kindness during the Kentucky State Fair. Ritchie's pastor and friend, Bob Helvey, says that kindness will be his legacy. As we go forward, I'm going to try to challenge the congregation to be more like Gordon, be kind. If nothing else, be kind. A congregation that promises they will continue their prayers as police work to catch the killer. I, I just don't even know what to say. It's just, I, I pray that they find who is responsible for this. Lauren Adams, WLKY News.